All right, so the article that I was given was written by Martin G. Brooks and Jacqueline Grennan Brooks. A little background about them. Martin G. Brooks is the executive director of the Tri-State Consortium, and Jacqueline is an associate professor in the Department of Curriculum and Teaching at Hofstra University. And they wrote together, The Courage to be Constructivist. In this PowerPoint, what we'll learn are the foundations of schooling, or what basically the basics of uh, education, our education system, and what they, their approach towards students. High stakes accountability. What is constructivism? We'll learn about that. And what does it mean to be a constructivist teacher? So that's his foundation of schooling. Sorry about that. But like I said before, this is the basics, um, appro basic approach towards our students that teachers are doing nowadays. It says that students will learn on demand. This approach to schooling is grounded in the conviction that all students can and will learn the same material at the same time. Now we've come to learn that that's pretty difficult and very hard to do. Um, also the focus on high stakes accountability systems. And what this focus is, is that they're focusing on the state tests and the result from these state tests. Because if they do good on these state tests, then the school district gets something, a reward. If they do bad, then the school district gets a punishment. So that's why there's a lot, of, lot at stake um, on these on these uh, on these systems. Here's a little. Here's some findings of research that were done, that was done on these standards-driven states. I won't go over all of them, but you can kind of tell that if a teacher, even if a teacher focuses his curriculum on test-taking strategies or test-taking skills, um, and this, the kids do better on on these tests. Like it says at the bottom, despite these rising scores, there is little or no evidence of these increased student learning. They might be getting better in taking tests, but um, not in learning. So is this, is this the path that we as teachers need to take? Is that a good path? Well, it says right here, classroom practices designed to prepare students for tests clearly do not foster deep learning. Instead, um, they train students to mimic learning on tests. So what path do we need to take in teaching? Right here it says, shifting our priorities from ensuring that all students learn the same concepts to ensuring that we carefully analyze students' understandings to customize our teaching approaches is, a, is an essential step in educational reform that results in increased learning. How do we accomplish this? And this is what constructivism is, or what we as con constructivist teachers need to do. We need to seek and value students' points of view. We need to structure lessons to challenge students' suppositions or guesses or hypotheses. We need to recognize that students must attach relevance to the curriculum. Um, basically, as students see relevance in their daily activities, their interest in learning will grow. Uh, we need to structure lessons around big ideas and not small bits of information. We also need to assess student learning in the context of daily classroom investigations and not as separate events. Basically, you know, students demonstrate knowledge in many different ways. So defining students' understanding as something that could be measured by taking a test, you know, gives false results of a student's knowledge. Um, so from that info, we see steps that help students think, um, almost help them learn themselves. So is there anything wrong with this method? Here are a couple critiques of constructivism. Uh, they say that it is overly permissive. Teachers often abandon curriculum to persuade the ideas of other of their students. So it could mean that kids can get the class going in, in different tangents. Um, it lacks rigor. Teachers cast aside fast and facts and basic skills of the curriculum in the pursuit of more capricious ideas. The authors of this article throw this out, throw these critiques off as, as silly, and they say that constructivist teachers keep relevant facts and information and skills at the forefront of their lesson planning. They do this within the context of the discussions about bigger ideas. They say that constructivism is um, addresses not only the what, but the how of learning. Here are the effects of high stakes accountability. You got children crying. Um, schools operating high stakes accountability systems typically move attention away from learning and basically focus on uh, obtaining higher test scores. So in conclusion, we must rethink as teachers the foundation of schooling. Um, students must be permitted to um, permitted the freedom to think and question, to reflect and to interact, basically to construct meaning. And also finally, so what does it mean to be a constructivist teacher? 
to focus on student learning, to design instructional practices to help students construct knowledge. It's something that I hope to practice while I'm a teacher, and I'm really excited to, to use it. Thank you for watching.